Gordon was boasting to the others. Do you all remember when the Queen came to the island? He asked. I remember it like it was yesterday. The station was decorated, flags were waving, crowds were cheering. Yes, Gordon, remarked Edward. We know. We were all there too. And I looked as grand as ever, Gordon continued, pulling the royal train into the station. My brass shone like gold, and my paint was gleaming. Hmph, sniffed Henry. It should have been me pulling that train. I was the fat controller's first choice, after all. But you had to go and spill a paint pot all over yourself, laughed James. Henry groaned in anger. I wonder if the Queen will ever come back, said Thomas. She did seem to like our railway. I suppose the fat controller would have to invite her again, suggested Edward. But we'll just have to wait and see. The engines were soon off to work. Thomas was shunting trucks in the yard when a new rail to a train pulled into the station. Thomas stared at the visitor. He had blue and silver paint that seemed to gleam in the sunlight. Then Thomas noticed his tender. It had the royal coat of arms. Cinders and ashes, he cried. It must be a royal train. The Queen's come back. I must tell the others. And Thomas rushed out of the yard. The visitor stared. I wonder where he's off to, he said to himself. Thomas found Gordon up the line. Gordon, he shouted. The Queen's on the island. Silly, huffed Gordon. How could she? The fat controller would have towed us. But she is, Thomas pleaded. There's a rail to her at Knapford, and the engine has the royal coat of arms on his tender. Gordon was shocked. I can't believe it. The fat controller should have asked me to pull the royal train. Never mind that, Thomas huffed. We have to tell everyone and get the island ready. Right, said Gordon. The two engines set off to tell the others about the Queen's arrival. Meanwhile, the visiting engine, whose name is Hudson, waited in the yard and watched the engines race up and down the line. This railway seems busy today, he said to himself. What could be happening? Percy then raced into the yard. Hey, you there, Hudson called out. Slow down a minute. Percy skidded to a halt. Hello, he panted. You're a rail to engine, right? That's right, I'm Hudson. And I'm Percy. I can't stay for too long. I have to make sure everything is ready. What for? asked Hudson. What's going on? Didn't you know? said Percy. The Queen is here. Hudson was shocked. The Queen's here? he shouted. I didn't even know. I've got to get prepared to meet Her Majesty. And he puffed out of the yard. Rail to a manager ran up. Hudson, where are you going? I can't stop the talk, sir, Hudson puffed. The Queen is here. What are you talking about? No, she isn't. But Hudson didn't hear him. He backed out of the yard. But he didn't see that James was coming from the other way with a truck of paint drums. Look out! He shouted. But it was too late. Hudson's tender smashed into James's truck. Drums of paint flew everywhere and littered the line. Hudson felt ashamed. Soon, Percy brought the breakdown train to clear away the mess. The fat controller and the rail to a manager spoke to Hudson. 
What were you playing at, Hudson? The rail tour manager said. Running about the yard like that, thinking the Queen is here. I'm sorry, sir, Hudson whimpered. It's just that Percy told me she was coming. The fat controller turned to the little green engine. Percy, he inquired, do you have anything to say about this? Well, sir, Percy began, Thomas was the one who told me that she was coming. That's strange, James added. Gordon told me the same thing. The fat controller stared. Whatever those two playing at. As if by chance, Thomas and Gordon arrived. Shomish and Gordon, the fat controller scolded. Why have you been spreading lies about the Queen visiting? We haven't lied, sir, pleaded Gordon. That engine has the coat of arms on his tender, sir, explained Thomas. Why else would he wear it if the Queen wasn't coming? The fat controller now understood the situation. I think you two might be a bit confused, he said. Unless, said Gordon, it's a different queen. He looked the visitor up and down. Do they have a queen in America? I'm not American, said Hudson. I'm Canadian, and yes, Canada does have a queen, Her Majesty Elizabeth II. But that's our queen, said Thomas. How can she be queen of both Canada and the United Kingdom? Because, the fat control explained, Canada has historical charge to the United Kingdom. They were part of the British Empire. And when they decided to become an independent country, added the rail tour manager, they formed their own government, but kept the Queen as their head of state, like a figurehead. That's right, said Hudson. I even pulled the royal train when George VI visited. Thomas and Gordon now felt silly. We're sorry, sirs, they said. That settled then, said the fat controller, but I suppose you two can help clear away this mesh. The accident was soon cleared away, and things were turned to normal. That night, Hudson was telling the engines all about his royal train. And I traversed my way up the Rocky Mountains, and I didn't stop till I made it to Vancouver. Hudson finished. The engines were amazed. Well, Hudson, said Gordon Grandy, that's all well and good, but let me tell you how a royal train should be pulled. The others groaned as Gordon told his royal train story for the umpteenth time. 